everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with you again. What we've got right now is a 2005 Pontiac Sunfire with a 2.2 Ecotec in it. Uh, this is my personal car. Um, I do oil, oil changes on it quite frequently. Um, some people would call me crazy, but I, where I do a lot of city driving and everything, I try to change my oil every 2,500 miles, give or take. But uh, <clears throat> anyways, I was going to show you this quick little video and man I was watching over my other video and uh, I don't know how you all can even understand me I mumble so much I'm going to have to uh, try to get better on that so uh, I sound like Boomhauer off King of the Hill or something uh, but anyways hopefully I can fix that but um, one reason I know a lot of people don't like uh, cartridge filters and this little Ecotech has that cartridge filter uh, design but I actually like them quite a, quite well um, especially when they're on top like this and uh, the reason I like them is because you can actually see the cartridge the filter itself so uh, companies they can't really skimp out or you know cheap out when you can see the cartridge the filter itself because you know if they uh, done like some other makers like uh, I won't mention names but they come in a little uh, orange box <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about I know uh, a lot of their cartridge filters, if not all of them, have uh, cardboard backing plates on the uh, inside. And um, can you imagine how well this would sell if they, uh, if you could uh, take this out of the box and see a big old nice cardboard hem plate on it? On it, yeah, they wouldn't sell any. So uh, you know that's my preference on the cartridge filters, is because you can actually see what's going in your engine. You know, this is a, just as the AC Doco filter, but um, even the other ones look, you know, almost identical to this. But uh, whenever you have your filter in a canister, then companies can hide a lot of their cheapness inside that because very few people are going to uh, cut that canister open and pull the cartridge out and look at it. So um, that's, you know, that's my theory. That's, that's why I like these uh, styles. Anyways, so... But anyways, it's pretty straightforward oil change. I know um, I mean, there's probably a thousand or more videos on 2.2 Ecotech oil changes, but uh, you know, um, not a whole lot to it really. Your cartridge filter, of course, is under that little cap, and uh, I know a lot of people break these things. And um, two uh, two tips I can give you, because this is the original cap on this. It's you know 13 years old and just under 300,000 miles, and like I say, it's original. But uh, what I do is whenever I put a new O-ring on here and change the, uh, the filter, I either uh, take Vaseline or some kind of grease and uh, I will lubricate that O-ring. Uh, I like using grease or Vaseline because it sticks with it and uh, that way it's, uh, you don't have to put a whole lot of torque into uh, loosening this up. And another thing too, the, the threads do not seal this, that just the O-ring does. So um, as soon as that O-ring is passed and as soon as you peel this up, you know touch and quit turning just uh just kind of snug it up a little bit not much at all just uh you know like i say just a little bit and uh, these caps will last forever so um hey uh i was trying to show you this here i don't know if you can see it or not because it's kind of dark but uh the uh oil the oil filter bypass say if you was to uh, leave this filter in here for a you know ridiculous amount of time and it got really dirty um the oil filter bypass uh, to the best of my knowledge anyways is uh, built into this cap so it's kind of a neat little feature um, so if the oil filter gets plugged up and uh, the oil can't flow past it rather than starving the engine for oil um, it will uh, open up that little bypass valve in there and uh, it'll just circulate dirty contaminated oil through your engine so um, you know it's a better than uh, starving your engine for oil because uh, yeah it won't last very long like that but alrighty um, yeah the rest of it's pretty straightforward you know of course pull the oil plug out and put it back in and of course uh, pull your cartridge out and uh, just snap it in put a new o-ring on it and uh, lubricate your o-rings I even lubricate this little guy here too so it uh, goes in easier without kinking or rolling or anything but yeah, lubricate that stick it back in and um, good to go you know like I say a very probably one of the easiest uh, engines to do an oil change on but all right we'll catch you guys next time thanks bye